New court documents formally charge Brett Gitchell with kidnapping, attempted murder, and other crimes in connection with the assault of Leticia Martinez's son. Making sure that, that we are filing charges that we can prove beyond reasonable doubt. And we are being thoughtful and, and we are acting with urgency and we're going to keep doing that. He's also charged with arson, accused of burning her vehicle after her disappearance. Newly released 911 calls from April 2nd, days after she was last seen on March 31st, reveal someone calling to report a suspicious man hiding in bushes around the same time Martinez's son calls 911. It confirms a lack of ability to contact Leticia at that time. I'm calling because my mother somehow knows what's going on. I can't call her and I don't know where I'm at and I, I, I don't know really who to trust. I just like to talk to a police officer. Friends say that loss of contact was unusual. I know Leticia to be a person who is in 24-7 contact with her son. Family and friends also called the text they received from Leticia's phone after March 31st, quote, odd and uncharacteristic. For her to be out of communication with all those folks, something, there's foul play. All evidence prompting the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office to ask a judge for bail to be set at $5 million. Seattle police are still taking tips about her whereabouts, so they ask people to send those in. They say there are no new updates to the case from over the weekend. Live in Seattle, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.